Hello and welcome to the Mike Les Farmhand Mike YouTube channel, bringing you some of the biggest and best variety and definitely the most versatile farming content on social media today. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Farmhand Mike. When you're running combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Hey everyone, I am down at Jeff Schmidt Auto Group in Beaver Creek, Ohio, and I am at their lawn and motorsports dealer. I'm gonna go in here and see if they will let me test drive one of these Sherps. Wow, these things are just pretty neat. It'd be pretty cool to have one of these. And some of the specs on this machine, first off, these are powered with a Doosan 1.8 liter three-cylinder diesel engine rated at 55 horsepower. These machines have a six-speed manual transmission with a top speed of 25 mile per hour or 40 kilometer per hour, a 25 gallon fuel tank. It's my understanding you can carry extra fuel inside the wheels there in those compartments. These have a two-year, 2,000 hour warranty, weigh in around 5,280 pounds and 26 inches of ground clearance and you can carry up to nine people in here. These just look like they'd be a lot of fun. I uh, asked the guys if they'd let me test drive this and they're running a background check on me right now to make sure it's okay, but uh, they did give me a hand in the meantime. Hopefully so my background uh, check comes out clean and they let me take this thing for a spin. All right, everyone, they ran a background check on me. It come back okay, so they had to call the owner, Jay Schmidt, in here to f put the final okay on this if I can test drive it or not. So anyways, we're here with Jay Schmidt, the owner of the Schmidt Auto Group. So Jay, would you tell us a little bit about your operation you're running here? Yeah, and we're really happy to let you take that test drive, just maybe a small security deposit, like a, a kidney you're yeah. rolling. We can, okay. we, we yeah, can work we got a deal there. Yeah. No, so uh, Jay Schmidt with Jay Schmidt Auto Group, we own and operate eight car dealerships here in the Dayton, Ohio area. Uh, we also operate this lot of motorsports location, which you know, kind of started as a toy store for us, and uh, we've really grown to the adult toy store here. So, car wise, we sell Chevy, Nissan, Mazda, Mitsubishi, Cadillac, Buick, GMC. I got that all out in one breath. And here at this location, we sell Kubota tractors, we sell steel hand equipment, we sell somebody help me fill in, make it look smart. Argos. Argos, Polaris, RTVs, side by sides, the Argo little guy, which you'll see here in a little bit, and the Argo shirt, the big guy, which uh, is why we're here, right? Yep. So anyways, I guess we'll check the oil on it and uh, you're gonna let me drive it out the door, right? Yeah, one kidney. All right, so let's go. First things first, uh, they don't trust me to drive this thing through the car lot, so we're gonna let the owner of the place uh, drive through the car lot here. That way, if any new cars get hit, I have no responsibility here. I will so, immediately get out of the driver's seat, push him into it, and take a picture. Okay, for insurance reasons, exactly. right? Okay, let's go. Take a sherp to the front end.
yes, they even walk on water. What an amazing machine. So you may have noticed earlier in the video the tires can uh, be adjusted with air pressure. And it's my understanding this air pressure is adjusted with exhaust recirculation gas all the way up to 150 PSI. And I'm told you can adjust the tire pressure from about zero to max PSI in about 30 seconds. Now there was a chart inside depending what kind of terrain you're running on, what you're looking to do with this, and where you want that tire pressure set at. The first Sherp that I ever actually saw in person was on a snowmobile trip this past winter in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. I did have a shot of that in my video, but anyways, how this whole thing progressed is one of the sales managers here at Jeff Schmidt Auto Group saw my picture, got a hold of me, and invited me down here to test drive this. He even came to see me at the National Farm Machinery Show, and we started talking. And it looks like I'm up to take it out on the water. Pretty much just at a crawl here off the throttle in third gear so this thing floats uh, nice and smooth now I'm gonna give her some throttle and see what happens
trying to run over a car with a Sherpa turned out to be a little more difficult than everybody thought, but anyways, it was just awesome to be out here with this machine today. As far as the steering goes, that's done with brake levers. These operate a lot like a skid steer loader, so you pull the lever back, you hold the brake on the one side, that stops the wheels, and the other side brings it around. Having one of these would have lots of uses. I mean, you could use this as a full-blown toy, but they have sold a couple of these, so it's my understanding a lot of utility companies and so forth that have a lot of places to go out on marshy land, stuff like that. This is all terrain that can get you there, and they sold another one to a guy that does boat recovery because he can take it in the water and on land, and I could just see that working out pretty good too. And the Argo 8x8 was also an added bonus I didn't know I was getting into today, so it was fun to take that out on the water and uh, take a little rip as well. here playing on is an old rock quarry. I did bring my son Michael down here. He helped me get some of the footage and so forth. So some of this drone footage here at the end was shot by my son with his drone. And anyways, just want to give a shout out and a big thank you to the guys at the Jeff Schmidt Auto Group for having me down here for this afternoon. We had a lot of fun doing this. Hopefully we get to do something like this in the future. If you like this video, please go down there and hit that like button. And feel free to comment below. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please go down there and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see more of what I'm doing, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Farmhand Mike. And as always, thank you for watching and supporting my social media.